In this video, we're gonna be talking about can a landlord be charged for breaking and entering? Coming up. Okay, can a landlord be charged for breaking and entering? And the answer is yes. In fact, a landlord can be charged for breaking and entering just because you are a landlord or you have a landlord who owns the property doesn't mean they can just come and go as they please and enter the property or even break a door to, or a window to enter the property. When a landlord signs a lease with the tenant, they are essentially giving the tenant the right to occupy that home or that property. And that tenant has rights. And those rights are you know, to not have that landlord coming and going or breaking into that property as that landlord pleases. So each city, state, and county are gonna have different laws on how a landlord can you know enter and go view their own property typically a landlord is required by law to give notice written notice 24 to 48 hours in advance before they can enter the property and that can be done by email or mail or maybe even a text message to the tenant um, so the landlord typically needs to notify a tenant before going into a property the only caveat would be in life or death situation or if the building or property you know was you know at risk of being completely destroyed like for instance if a building is on fire a landlord most likely has the right to go in and put that fire out to save both the tenants items and possessions but also the owner's building right so certain things like that but breaking and entering in general isn't acceptable and even if a landlord has to break a door down or hire a locksmith to get into the property ideally they're going to need to notify the tenant and let them know that they are coming to the property for whatever reason and give an advance notice 24 to 48 hours again you're going to want to check with your local county or city or even state to determine what the landlord tenant laws are in your area thing is is these landlord tenant laws are not all treated the same in certain parts of the country they may be more favorable to the tenant and in other places in the country they may be more favorable to the landlord so before you go breaking into a property that you may own that has a tenant and a lease you're going to want to definitely send written notice and figure out the exact code and and rules and laws that you are going to have to deal with in your particular area so please keep that in mind now if you are a tenant and your landlord wants to come and do a quarterly inspection of the property and the HVAC and whatever it may be, they have the right to do so. And they will most likely be sending you a letter in the mail, sometimes as much as one or even two weeks in advance. And in the lease agreement that you most likely signed, if you're a tenant, it allows for them to do so. So landlords have the ability to come check the property and maintain the property as they want. There's really no rule in which they can't come as often as they want but they are typically required to let you know in advance in writing that they will be coming now if they don't notify you and they do break into the property the landlord could be held liable for those damages and further issues or legal issues by breaking into the property without notice so to answer this question it's a little gray because there's different rules and different codes in different counties and different cities and different states so my advice to you would be to check with your local government and figure out what the tenant uh, landlord laws look like in your area. Rule of thumb, if you are a landlord, you do have access and you are allowed to view and to inspect that property, but you are not allowed to do so in real time. You must notify your tenants in writing, you know, one or two days, if not longer in advance, letting them know you will be there and you will be inspecting the property, guys. Just, you know, keep it simple and put yourself in the shoes of the other person. You know, if you're a tenant, you're going to want the landlord to notify you in advance before they show up. And if you are a landlord, you know, you should probably notify your tenant before you show up. Give them a one or two days notice, maybe even a week so they know and they can be prepared. This is going to prevent most issues that you will encounter. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you liked it. Subscribe for more and we'll be making more videos just like this soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.